Et c'est parti pour l'épisode 34. Allez, on va continuer. Donc, euh, la sauvegarde, là c'est une autre session de jeu. Euh, la sauvegarde a repris juste à mon arrivée en ville, du coup je me suis rééquipé avant de lancer l'épisode. Il est possible que je n'ai pas tout à fait remis exactement les mêmes runes sur l'armure. Euh, je ne sais plus. Donc euh, dans, le, dans le doute, je vous le dis, il est possible que ce ne soit pas les mêmes que j'ai remises. Et du coup, hop, si on regarde la carte, il faut qu'on aille euh, voir notre père. Donc on va essayer d'y aller. Alors, est-ce que ça passe Est-ce que c'est ouvert, surtout, par là euh, Parce qu'on est, on est, on est, alors, elle. Euh, on est toujours euh, au chapitre 3. Du coup, on est censé faire euh, une, une invocation. On va voir ce que ça donne. Euh, il est pas là. Ok, elle veut tuer notre père. Bon, bah au moins c'est clair, maintenant on va devoir la combattre. Alors, je dois aller au temple. Où qu'il est Je dois ressortir de la ville, d'accord. Je pense qu'on touche à la fin du chapitre 3, là. Mon avis, ça doit être elle, la, le boss de fin de chapitre. Vous ne pourrez plus faire demi-tour si vous continuez. Il me semble qu'on a tout validé. Hein. Au niveau des quêtes secondaires sur le panneau. Donc oui, on y va. Ville haute, temple. On va au temple. One false move and I will stuff your blades down your throat. Chiron, don't. It was my decision. You put a spell on him so he didn't defend himself. He is the last ingredient. There is no other way, Chiron. I won't allow you to just be stabbed like some mangy mutt. I'll be the last who has to die because of the Awakened. Be reasonable, Chiron. Don't destroy everything at the last moment. You both knew all the time. That's why it took you so long to find this ingredient. It wasn't easiest to wait until you had found all the others. Uh, oui. I trusted you, both of you. Damn it, Chiron! Don't take away my only chance to make amends for my crimes against you all. Chiron, Cassio, the whole happy little family together. Azrael. Now, don't be sad when I have to take an old friend of mine with me. You think you'll get away with it? You are wrong. What's to stop me from cutting off your head here and now? Try it, Chiron. Maybe you are faster than my people. And maybe you'll even find our pretty little Calandra. What have you done with her? Calandra is developing marvelously. She is eager to learn, strong-willed, and... My dear Cassie. I know you are versed in a variety of interesting games. Entertainment and deception, mother. Two victorious sisters, both as edifying as they are beautiful. Certainly. Unfortunately, we agree that the most edifying part of this meeting is yet to come. I feel it. 
Your gifts crave union. And the arena is already prepared. Why don't you start with the union right now? Sooner or later, you will have to anyway. I'd rather ram my weapon into my chest myself. Come on, Chiron. Otherwise, it will be too boring. What? Mother is right. Draw your weapon. Euh, oui, on va tenter l'amitié. We didn't go through all that crap together just to tear out one another's guts. I'm a necromancer who wanted to use you just like one of her mindless servants. I kidnapped your father and wanted to stab him like a mangy mutt. Isn't that enough for you? I don't buy that for a minute. Damn, you really are so cute. Draw your sword, or I might be tempted to let you win. Donc c'est ça, il faut... Oula. D'accord, elle crée des illusions. Il ah, y en a une qui se téléporte. Allez, hop. Tout de suite, on va lancer notre aura. Est-ce que je peux la geler Est-ce que c'était la bonne que j'ai gelée A priori, non. Donc les illusions n'encaissent qu'un coup. Elle, euh, je peux la frapper autant que je veux. Donc si je fais ça, forcément les illusions... Là je tue tout le monde. Elle est là la bonne. Allez encore. Est-ce que je peux la geler Ouais. Je la gèle vraiment pas beaucoup. Allez hop. La circulaire nous aide vachement à savoir qui est la bonne. Ah mais attaque pas n'importe où Kiron. Je sais pas si c'est utile de détruire les clones ou pas. Alors, où est la vraie On ne sait pas vraiment. A mon avis, c'est elle, là, qui... Voilà, qui se téléporte partout. Est-ce que c'était elle Non. Comment je peux la toucher Ah là les doubles sont sont plus solides. Je ne sais pas trop si je frappe la bonne. Par contre ce que je sais c'est que je suis mal. Alors shift 1. Pourquoi ça ne marche pas Mince c'était shift 2 autant pour moi. On va se remettre un petit coup d'aura. On en a tué une. Ah. Il y en a une qui a ressuscité. Et maintenant on invoque des chiens. On s'est téléporté. On va mettre un petit coup d'aura. Est-ce qu'on peut mettre. Non, j'ai plus de gel. Je pense qu'on va simplement se concentrer sur elle si on arrive à l'attraper. Mais les chiens reviennent en boucle. Une petite circulaire. 
parfait, on va geler, ça ne pas longtemps. On l'a eu. And again, the powers of the gifts unite. I look forward to our reunion, Chiron. I'll laugh in your dead face, and soon, damn soon. Well, not just yet. Calandra has to get a little rest first. Unions are demanding, as you know. How many awakened has she already had to kill for you, Azero? Maybe one, maybe two. Anyway, your next meeting will be under the sign of the first paladin. Until then, all the best, my child. Prepare yourself carefully. Bon. You sure showed me, didn't you? You left me no choice. I know. Everything went according to plan. What are you talking about? What plan? My second secret. Sacrifice one of my own blood. They must needs choose their death of their own free will. I had already accepted that before you had even drawn your weapon. The summoning. What would you have done if you had won? I hoped that you would do the same for me. But I won't ask you about it. Azrael knew. <laughs> that I would sacrifice myself for you and your stupid Calandra. No. Something like that would never even enter her infinitely wise little head. She trusts her persuasiveness too much. But you can't preach freedom and enforce obedience. <coughs> and that is what Zulgarath will teach her. You shouldn't talk anymore. Never mind, Chiron. The Dark Mother is stronger than Zulgarath. She will take me in. I'm looking forward to it. Shit. If you knew how many people I've tortured and killed, this would be easier on you. Come here. I'll reveal my first secret. Zulgaroth's true name. Just remember, we can win. And one more thing for your little Calandra. That new armor she wears. And now... Drag me into that cursed circle. Okay. Stunned, Chiron stared at Cassio's lifeless body. Never before had a stranger sacrificed themselves for him on his own. Her trust in his ability to defeat the demon and thereby save Cassio's soul must have been unshakable. Her trust, or her hatred of Azeril, all was prepared. If Chiron wanted to defeat the Borberadian and save his father, if he did not want to be doomed to kill the woman he loved, there was but one thing he could do. Just what Azaril had done decades ago, when she gave the awakened demonic powers and pledged their souls for it. Chiron lit the candles. He strode into the circle of protection and said the magic word. Oksaraminja Ides Raki Zulgaroth. Bien. Euh, oui, nous connaît. You should know me. I'm Chiron. Chiron. How nice that we finally get to meet in person. I know your true name, demon. You will serve me. Certainly, master. Certainly. Forgive my disrespect. Please, accept this gift. A new set of armor as a sign of my submission. Euh, C'est gentil. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on prend Euh, 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 euh. On va plutôt partir sur une armure de guerrier.
Hmm. Ouais, je suis pas. Sa loyauté est trop rapide. No tricks. Your kind always demands something in return. Forgive me, Master Kylo. I didn't mean to surprise you. What is your command? Euh... Ah, on a plein de choix. Euh, je sais pas, on essaye celle-là. Our common enemy, Azrael. Kill her. Oh. You do have no idea how I love to do just that. But as long as our contract exists, she is protected from my anger. With the power of the gifts, a mortal such as yourself can subdue her. And as for the contract, there is a solution. Please, give me a different command. D'accord. Uh. I want to see Calandra. Bring me to her, alive and well. Nothing simpler, Master Chiron. I hear and obey, but I like you. Therefore, Master, you shall receive an additional service. Please, give me a different command. D'accord, Prichery, on n'a pas de y avoir qu'un seul bon choix. Et je suppose que ça va être annul le besoin de tuer. The need to kill attached to the gifts must end. Extinguish the Awakens' need to murder one another. You want to be able to transfer the gifts freely without having to kill one another. I like that, Master. And I can make it happen. But for that, I must ask something in return. Uh... Bah oui, on l'écoute. Hein. Il y a forcément un prix à payer. I should have known. What do you want? The kidnapping your father once performed ripped some holes in Azalil's contract with me. She tried to fix them with seven seals. I'm bound to them, as you are, but I can act more freely than she thinks. I will lift you through the spheres. I give you the power to break the seals. Once that is accomplished, Your need to kill will be lifted forever. Ah, uh, c'est c'est louche. You want me to break those seals? That's all. Is that so surprising? You will humble my enemy, and you will destroy the contract that torments us both. What's the catch? What effect does the destruction of the seals have? Your distrust hurts me, Master. I give you freedom! And as if that were not enough, you have received the best of all armors, and your gift will become even more powerful. Master, we use the same force, we have the same goal, and you'll finally see Calandra again. Trust me. Ça sent le piège, quand même. What happens once the seals are broken? The need to kill will end immediately. You, awakened, will be able to transfer your gifts as and when you see fit, should you so wish. That would even give rise to the first additive. And our souls? The one that Azalil claims for herself will be free. But the other six? What's mine is mine. Five served me already. But whose soul will be last? And just when it will come to me, that is yours to decide. Ok. Bon, ça me semble toujours aussi louche, mais... I'm ready. Take me to the seals. I hear and obey, Master. Prepare for a long trip through the Limbos. Cool. Plastron du démon titanesque. Sympa comme nom d'armure. Je pense que celle-là n'est pas d'un blanc immaculé comme celle qu'on a actuellement. Chiron
Little advice. Never travel with demons. It's worse than swimming in a lake of acid. Oh, you damn fool! It really is you! Come to me! Mm. Wait. On sait jamais, je me méfie des pièges. You are more beautiful than ever. Oh, the armor? Don't worry, it has nothing to do with the gift. Or, not directly. It's a symbol. For my people. You have people? Some would even call it a retinue. But we haven't caught Azaril yet. We'll leave her for last. Kalandra, what's going on here? Revolution, Chiron. The end of the old, the beginning of liberation. I'm so glad you're here. Together we will prevail. Zulgaroth's gifts will not succeed in dividing us. The need to kill. Azeril's plan to use us to create the first paladin. You know about it. Azeril taught me a lot, more than was good for her. I had to do terrible things for her. Yet she instructed me in demonology, in blood magic and in the teachings of Saint Warbarad. The truth stands above everything. The fact that we are free, and that we can even overcome gods and arch demons if our will is strong enough. Every human a mage. Imagine how the world might look if Borborad's promise were to come true. Total freedom. Uh, oh, what a wonderful world that would be. We could all be like Azrael, sacrificing virgins. Kidnapping young women and forcing demonic powers upon innocent children whenever we want. That was Azrael's first mistake. Her second mistake was that she wanted to force me to worship Borbarat, and I feared that would cost me my soul for all eternity. But her third mistake will be her downfall. Every believer must promise his soul to Borbarat. They thereby enter into a pact with a demon, probably Amazeroth the Deceiver. The pact is needed to learn blood magic, but there is a way to break it. Azeril knows it, and she keeps it secret, and it gives her power over Borborad's disciples. But this knowledge is every man's right, every human a mage. Never again should anyone have to sell their soul to a demon for that promise. That's what we're fighting for. Oui, on va en apprendre un peu plus là parce que je suis un peu perdu. We've changed. The gifts have made us stronger. And they have become even more powerful. Eventually they will dominate us. We will not kill one another, Chiron. We will be stronger, simply because we must. My gift has become very powerful. Zulgaroth seems to see me as some sort of murder weapon. How has your gift developed? Remember that portal in Moloch Mountain? My gift let me open it. Since then I've learned much about magic, about demons and portals. Large portals. Powerful portals to other spheres. I can open them and pass through them. Once Zeran led the Borboradians, he called himself Portifex Maximus, the greatest portal opener. That is now my calling. Then you could just transport yourself into Azrael's headquarters. Unfortunately, no. The Sanctum is protected from my portals. Probably also part of her contract with Zilgaroth. Okay. Borborad's dogma, what are its exact words? As Alvaranian of the Forbidden Knowledge, Borborad is revered by those who refuse to be forbidden to think. His ideal is freedom. But only a strong mind will attain complete freedom. And a strong mind comes only from a strong will. And there are no limits to this ideal of freedom. Your freedom ends where your will ends, and your will opens the forbidden gates. Who passes those gates can achieve anything. You mean blood magic, spells with your own blood or with the blood of others. In the name of justice, the old gods distributed magic completely arbitrarily. Borborad's spells make people more equal. And encourages them to fight constantly. Our gifts are prime example. The law of the world, the eternal struggle, only through it is their development. Only through it does each give their best. 
Three awakened had to die for my gift to grow. Is what Azeril says true? That we're the last two? We are. My gift had to grow as well. And their souls? Zulgaroth will have claimed them. The price of your and my power. They were our brothers and sisters. At least some of them. That doesn't matter. Not for you and me either, my love. Morality is what we declare to be true. Father never understood that. Euh, oui, non. Euh, oui, quoi, non, quoi. You seem cold. You seem soft. I summoned Zulgaroth. Cassio revealed his true name to me. So, Cassio, I see. And you're the one who was victorious in your struggle. Or did she reveal the true name out of the milk of human kindness? Uh, no, je n'aime que toi. She died so that I would not have to fight you. For an end to the awakened struggle. The true name was part of that plan. Ah, uh, that was truly noble of her. Did, did the plan succeed? Zulgaroth told me that there are seven seals in this monastery. We must destroy them all to break his pact with Azrael. Then we will no longer have to kill each other. We'll be able to share our gifts as we please. The seals! I knew it! This is the answer! Chiron, I have to speak with Segal. Who? Where? Why? I I'll explain that all later. Hey, that's a little fast. I love you, Chiron, but this is really important. Please be patient and look around my camp a little. The next attack by Azrael's people will come soon. Maybe you can help us to secure the outpost. My people will adore you once they've seen you fight. We'll meet back here when you're done. I'll see you soon, Chiron. Bien. Donc on peut se balader ici à notre guise. Euh, bah y a pas grand chose ici. Mais d'abord, c'est là-dessus qu'on va arrêter l'épisode 34 et je vous dis à tout de suite dans l'épisode 35.